the partnership between states and NIOA should uh, no longer be antagonistic. It has been so before and that was the major thing that has been barring development of waterways by states despite the fact that we know 28 states of this uh, country uh, have, have been bypassed by waterways or are covered by the waterways which can be also navigable. So state governments, particularly those along the banks of River Niger and Binue, which is the major arteries, should now cooperate the more with NIOA. Uh, and also, especially the laws have also uh, mandated that because it has been over a 20 years we have been trying to resolve conflicts between states and, uh, and, and, the, uh, and the federal government in terms of NIOA laws versus laws proposed by states. All these laws should be seen to have failed, and now what we need is a good collaboration between the states and NIWA, and but most especially, NIWA should be able to obtain uh, what we have been saying, presidential intervention. Uh, mind you, waterways transport is one of the important modes of transport in many countries and is a source of development to many countries and we have it in abundance to exploit to harness and to make it more useful to nigeria so state governments this is the time to actually uh, keep that antagonistic uh, approach discuss fairly with NIWA and then seek for intervention from the federal government especially to review ownership operation and development of jetties in every state also to help to develop and deploy new naval architecture for boats that are to be used in our waterways because at the moment what we have they are too traditional and it cannot be so we cannot sustain that we have to come up with a very good research to develop a very good architecture that can suit the type of boats, ferries that we can use. And we must be able to standardize the type of jetties that we operate in this country. There are lots of revenues to be derived from there, both from the jetties and from operating the boats. So both the state government uh, and, and the federal government that is true newer should be able to now start discussing in earnest to be able to come on amicable terms because there is uh, a huge commercial implication of neglecting uh, waterways we lose revenue and also we incur high costs on other modes of transport so waterways transportation should be seen as a key uh, transportation system in this country especially it was the first there was no railway when there was waterways there was no roads when there were was waterways for Mongo Park and all other colonialists to be able to move around this country the same thing countries later on come to develop if you check this Yangtze River in China it's the major source of development of the Chinese economy at the moment because it uh, was able to cover the entire hinterland which Rivers Niger and Binwe and its tributaries is doing in Nigeria. So all state governments or states that are within the waterways uh, uh, network should uh, come up with a cool head, discuss with NIWA and particularly the federal government, and also come up with amicable uh, uh, understanding on how to develop ventures I'm not saying one. There are many ventures that could be developed along the waterways across this country. 